and bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a quick and easy tutorial for holidays 2021, Christmas 2021. I always love to do festive looks this time of year. It's one of the only times of year where I feel like I can really hit those green eyeshadows for my day-to-day -day life pretty hard and have some fun with it. We're doing a really, oh, I just so love it. I keep looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> We're doing a really lovely green and red traditional holiday look with little bits of gold and silver in there too. Doing up the hair, wearing the white top. It just ties in together so, so nicely. So if you wanna see how I got this look, definitely keep on watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, let's dive in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prep my face a little bit, but with a glowy item. So these are the Glow Drops by Jekka Black in the shade Champagne. I'm gonna put that under my foundation so a little bit more jolly glowiness will come through. Next, I'm gonna go in with my regular foundation routine. This pretty much includes a foundation. Here I'm using the Rare Beauty one in the shade 160C and a matte powder. This one is by Makeup Revolution, just to set the face. Alright, so I finished off my face and I've gone ahead and done my eyebrows because there's nothing really special there. I just used the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde and let's move on to the eyes. So normally I would use a concealer or something like that to prep my eyes, but today I'm using the Kiko Milano Long Lasting Eyeshadow Stick in the shade number 38. It's this gorgeous taupey gray brown and I'm gonna put that all over the lid because I want that to be the nice dark base for the lovely green we're gonna put on after. And I am gonna smudge it out but just in the crease line so it fades out nicely. Okay, perfect. So the first palette we're gonna go into is At Forest Sight. This is the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Chrissy collaboration that came out a year ago. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette, very earth tones, but two colors, which are my two most used ones, is Fiddlehead and then Evergreen. So I'm gonna start with Fiddlehead and basically place that everywhere that shadow stick was. Okay, perfect. So we have this nice, lovely, deep green, smoky eye. We're gonna brighten it up a little bit, so don't worry if you think this is too intense. It'll get there. We are gonna dip into Let It Rain first. It says gorgeous black with copper shimmers inside, and just ever so slightly deepen the outside, doing a little C shape. Okay, perfect. So that added a little bit of dimension, but not too much. We're still in the deep smoky green. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Evergreen, which is this lovely shimmery reflective mossy green. So find a color like that and plop that all on the lid where the fiddle head color is, but not touching the black. Oh, that's so nice. It's giving such a brightness to that deep green but without losing the depth of color. To match the under eyes, I'm gonna go in with a more golden green color. I'm using one from the Good Luck Charms palette. This one is called Karma and I'm just gonna buff out the under eye with that. For the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the same palette and I'm gonna use the shade Destiny which is a lovely silver. waterline I'm gonna go in with a nice chocolate brown this is the elf no bud shadow stick and I have the shade metallic mocha next I'm gonna use a super shock shadow from the same collection with Rob beauty Christy this is gonna act like a beautiful topper this one is like a moss and essentially it's a golden green but it has those reflex on it that will go gorgeous on this look And 
already you can see the difference in brightness that brought to the eye. And if you want even more brightness, right on the center of the lid, use an even brighter, more metallic one, just highlighting and making a kind of halo effect. So we'll finish off the eyes after, but because we're going for a cutesy, warm, cozy Christmas look, we're gonna do the blush next. And essentially, I want to focus my blush in this area, like I've been out in the snow playing that fun, cute blush style that's popular right now. For that, I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. This one is in the shade Joy. I have the mini of it, but it's perfect because it packs a punch. Now that doesn't seem like a lot, but trust me, that's more than enough. What I like to do as well is clean up my nose bridge, so whatever foundation was left over on my brush, I just go down the middle. For me, next is a very important step for a cute, cozy Christmas look, and it is freckles, so I'm gonna use the ColourPop Freckle Pen and go nuts. A quick tip here is I would do a little bunch at once and then pat it down and then proceed so it looks a little bit more natural. Perfect, next is the lips and what would Christmas be without a red lip? So here I'm using the ColourPop with I Love Sarah E collaboration in the shade Ariba and it's a matte liquid lip. Alright, so while that dries down, I'm gonna finish off the eyes with a black cat liner, some lashes, and I will be right back for the finished look. Here is the final look. Oh my gosh, it turned out so much nicer than I anticipated. You have a plan in your head, but you never really know until it's done. I am so happy with this look. It's so festive, it's so pretty. If you wanted to do a nude lip, it would still be really lovely for the holidays. I have my little scrunchie in here to tie it all in together. I just feel like a Christmas princess. The glitter is great, it's not too much. You have the depth, the shimmer, the sheen, but it's not too dark. Very happy with that. Hopefully you guys like this look too. Obviously I had particular palettes I use, but you can use whatever you have and you can. Play around with the colors that already exist in your library and just have some fun. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was fun and entertaining for you and gave you a lovely idea for this Christmas. If you haven't already, definitely please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hoping to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year. Thank you all for being here again. Happy holidays and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!